there were two ways to describe Melbourne and Victoria, it's our love of sport and our incredible cultural diversity. And the great thing that Sports Without Borders do is bring those two together for our recently arrived communities and our refugee communities. The mission really is to ensure that newly arrived Australians, particularly refugees, have the opportunity to participate in sport. We think that sport is a great way of breaking down the barriers. It transcends all issues of race, colour, creed, all of those and financial aspects that people have issues with. And we thought that was a great opportunity to break down and allow these kids to start engaging and feeling Australian, if you like. One is Sudan. I hope to go to the Olympics one day, be like Kathy Freeman, carry both flags. Timas, who was you know, sort of separated from his parents as a result of the conflict in Sudan, four years later ends up in Australia with his parents at Heidelberg Heights, gets a scholarship to St Kevin's College because he's a champion athlete and footballer and he couldn't get to training. We were able to support him with $2,000 a grant for his travel back and forth from school and training right through to getting him his equipment and his gear to be able to participate in the Australian Championships. There's some great uh, teams going around, all based on support that they've received from Sports Without Borders, uh, that was not there. And there's so many stories to tell about the great sportsmanship, the great comradeship and the friendships that have evolved. Particularly amongst the girls, of course, that come from a Muslim background, um, the culture is very important. Uh, one of the things we've been able to do is break down a lot of that and actually include a lot of the uh, girls in things like swimming and hockey and tennis, which they've never been able to do before. Soccer, well, I know I'm not going to be a professional player, but I just go out there and have fun. I can really trust the people and my teammates that are on the team and just have balls. My parents aren't soccer fans, you know. It's like they do like better. I mean, sometimes your parents don't know what's best for you, sometimes. Like, yeah, soccer, it taught me a lot of things. The thing that impresses me most about Sports Without Borders is that they're always being innovative, always looking for the next great idea. Um, whether it's the outreach work they do in regional Victoria, whether it's the partnerships they've got with uh, the business community, whether it's partnerships with clubs like the North Melbourne Football Club, incredibly exciting endeavours. The ultimate aim for us is to get as many of these children, and we think we're talking about a million that are probably not participating across Australia. If we can get into that 100,000, 200,000 of those children participating over the next few years, we've done our job. Mm -hmm.